today we'll be doing a video for the collab channel, which obviously you're watching right now, is British Beauty Girls. I know I haven't really uploaded a video, but I've, I'm not sure if anyone told you, but I've been really, really busy. Um, loads of exams, loads of coursework to get in, loads of just, it's the end of the year, so I've got to try and get like as much stuff in as I can. Um, so yeah, I've been really, really busy, I'm sorry about that, I, but it's not just this channel I've been uploading on, I've hardly been uploading on my main channel either, which is a Rachel Lynn Fox, which I will link in the... Um, crotch bar and as everyone's starting to call it now and um, today we'll be doing a video like a makeup video and it's going to be kind of like a pop of like i might do like we might all do like a series called the pop of color and i'm thinking like um we each do a video um showing how you can incorporate a pop of color into your makeup in the summer because not everyone well i know i do i don't really want um, to have very heavy heavy makeup in the summer sometimes most of the time this is what i do i just go out with um, my powder, a bit of blush, mascara, and then just go with a dramatic lip because I cannot be bothered with eyeshadow or anything like that. Because it all comes off anywhere with a primer or without a primer, and I just can't bother with a heavy face fa um, foundation or anything. So I'm just going to show you a few ways how you can just put a little pop of colour into your summer makeup routine. Um, just using a few lipsticks because um, I prefer lipsticks than lip glosses. Um, first one I'm going to be using is a Maybelline one in Berry Sorbet, which is A58. That's really nice pink, hot pink colour, I'm not sure you can see that or not, I'll do a swatch, there we go, like that, so really I'm going to come in for you, oh my mama, um, cushion, um, I'm just going to be putting this on my lip, just kind of put it on, all I've got on today is just a bit of blush, quite um, dramatic blush actually, but that's just not what I normally do, but um, just my normal, wipe myself there, <laughs> just my normal routine, like my mascara, this is or anywhere mascara, that's it. Um, yeah, not nothing much really, so I'm just going to apply this and I'll get back with you in a second. Okay, so now I've applied that, as you can see, it's just completely like transformed my like, makeup completely. Um, I really like this, it's more of like um, a cool toned one, so it's got quite um, a lot of like purple and blue reflexes in it. Um, as you can see, it's a really bright, bright pink, but I really like this colour, I wear this colour quite a lot, um, just because it's my favourite colour. Um, it takes, what, two seconds, like hardly any time to apply. I don't normally put a lip liner on for this lipstick. I only normally use lip liner for my red lipsticks, um, and sometimes I don't even do that. Because um, sometimes, unless you've got a really, really good lip liner, lip liners don't even work for me because they just need to stay on anyway. So um, I don't use lip liner for this lipstick in particular, um, but you can if you want to. So obviously, I'm just really, really natural at first. Like I said, blush, my, just my normal um, routine with just powder and concealer and then my mascara and then I just pop a pop of colour on with this lipstick and this is what I normally wear um, it might be a bit too dramatic for, for, for people that like to I wear this in the daytime and I wear this at night as well so for me it's kind of a versatile look but not everyone likes to wear bright lips in the day but I'm more of a, a dramatic lip person than a dramatic eye person so um, this is one of my favourite colours to wear um, at the, in the night or in the daytime um, and as you can see, like I've shown you, it does add a pop of colour um, and I think it's very bright and summery um, which is obviously, like I said, great for the summer. So I'm going to go on to the next colour now which is a really nice um, bright pink um, bright pink lipstick from MAC and it's a cream sheen and cream cup. Um, I'm still kind of on the edge with them lipsticks from MAC. Um, I thought I'd really like them but I tend to, it might just be the cream sheen ones but I tend to think that they're quite thick and they're a bit too thick. But um, I don't know, but this is the cream sheen one, um, cream sheen one in cream cup, and this is quite um, a famous lipstick. Quite a lot of people have got this cream cup one. It's just a really nice bright pink one. So I'm just going to take this off and apply this one for you to show you. Um, this is kind of more more of a toned down pink, which probably be a bit more wearable to some people. Okay, so I applied that one. That was from um, Max Cream Cream Cup. Um, when I bought this colour, I thought it, I would like it, and I just bought it. Well, first and last thing I thought, I thought I really like it. But um, I don't tend to wear this colour that much, just because I don't think it really suits me. I just don't think pale lip colours really suit me that much. I've tried out loads of nude colours. Um, I went into MAC and like had like spent like half an hour in there trying on all the nude lipsticks. I tried on Creme de Nude, I tried on Mist, I tried on Hue. None of them seem to suit me. Um, so I'm not sure that I'm just a brightly coloured lip person rather than... Um, more of a nude colour. I know this isn't that nude, but um, uh, I don't know. I just thought it was a bit more toned down than the Maybelline pink one. But yeah, this is cream sheen, um, a cream sheen finish, and this in the cream cup one. So it's quite. I don't know that was. I don't know that was at all. <laughs> I'm being really weird today. Um, 
I'm not sure whether this really suits me or not, but I just thought I'd show you because some people prefer like more pale pink colours. So this is just showing you adds, adds more of um, a toned down pop of colour to your face. Um, if you wanted to wear this in summer, I think on most people this would be a great colour for some people, but I don't know, I don't really use this anymore at all. Don't know. I wish I had bought it now, but um, I suppose when I start building up my MAC lipstick collection, I can just add to it anyway. But yeah, I'm not too keen on this one on myself now, but um, I just thought I'd show you because a lot of people do like Cream Cup um, by MAC. Okay, so I'm going to show you this one now, and this is one of my favourite red lipsticks ever. It's um, a, a number seven one, so if you live in America, I'm sorry, you can't get number seven. So I know they don't sell it over there, because um, it's a Boots own one. Um, this one's in 65 Mulberry, and this is their Moisture Drenched Lipsticks, and I love these lipsticks. They seem to be quite like, I like matte lipsticks normally, but these are just so moisturising. When you put them on your lips, it actually does drench your lips with moisture. Um, it's a really nice, deep red colour. It's really nice, I like it. And I just find this really nice. Um, so I'm going to apply this. Go ahead and apply this now. This is really also really easy to apply. So this is what the red lipstick looks like. Um, looking at it now in the in the normal light, it looks kind. It look I do like it um, very much so. And it's more of um, it is quite a deep red, not not your classic bright red. But um, I think it's quite summery, and it does go quite a lot uh, with um, like a corally blush, a blush. Um, a corally blush like I was going to say um, and just like mascara like I am wearing now um, like I said not everyone likes this look for summer um, at all so people just like to stick stick with the red lip for Christmas time and like winter and everything but I prefer wearing it all year through um, in the daytime and the night time so I just thought I'd show you a few ways just to add a pop of colour into your into your makeup um, in the summer um, like I do um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Um, this is kind of my first video for the collab channel. Channel, um, give us all ideas down below on what kind of videos you'd like to see because we're really struggling on ideas at the moment. Um, go and check out my channel and all the other girlies' channels, and I will see you all soon. Bye.